my garbage person of the week is going to be this dude on Infowars or whatever. I'm not really interested in him, but I am interested in how he has publicly embarrassed himself while trying to attack people who care about things like gender identity. To set it up though, let me explain what triggered him. That is that new policy change of Virgin Atlantic that lets male pilots and crew wear skirts to express their true identity. That's that's it. They dropped rules that require their employees to wear gendered uniform options. It's in the UK. The carriers changed its ticketing system to allow gender neutral markers. That's it and that's all it took to set some right wingers off. But what he decided to tweet about this was pretty bigoted how they're still maintaining male and female toilets on the plane. I wanna see the S show of gender neutral bathrooms unfold at 30,000 feet. So a little bit of sarcasm there, ha ha ha. But you haven't made this change, why are you still doing the gender neutral things? Well, I don't know if he's ever been on a plane. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been on a plane, but they're gender neutral. <laughs> that is in fact what they are and have always been. Maybe on super fancy planes, there's an exception, but I've taken dozens of flights in my life and I've never once been on a plane that had gendered bathrooms. And so Bobby Lewis has previously appeared in the show says, I'm very curious how he handles going to the bathroom on an airplane. What rules does he think there are? And what does he think of everyone else using whatever bathroom is available? And Christopher Keeldy point out, points out that you do have to leave your mom's basement at some point to take a flight, which is a great point. Now. Making a claim like this, okay, isn't just about not knowing how planes work or bathrooms work. It is an opportunity, a teachable moment to say, maybe you're going too far in your crazed anti woke campaign and you need to learn to pump the brakes a little bit and think before you squawk. That unfortunately is not what's going to happen, apparently, because this one guy had responded to his tweet saying, you'll have to delete this one. All plain toilets have been unisex since forever. But as you can see, he had in fact already deleted it. There was no retraction, there was no, "Oh, I messed up, I'll be more careful in the future. There's just, let me get rid of the evidence because that'll work on Twitter. And he'll go on demonizing people who care about this stuff, attacking the woke and learning absolutely nothing. Total garbage, Ben, what do you think? That's an excellent choice. I would just kill to see this idiot on a plane having to pee real bad and just bouncing <laughs> up and down outside of a bathroom waiting for them to slap up a man sign before he allows himself <laughs> to go in there. I mean, what a moron. Not only have obviously plane bathrooms always been unisex. In fact, that's the only reason why people are able to join the Mile High Club. If you had to separate the genders that's in true. there. You wouldn't be able to have sex in that bathroom. So thank goodness they always have been and may the skies always remain a place for harmony and sexual intimacy. I, th I think he would find that to be a convincing argument. Thank you. Anyway, no, it's just like, oh, anyway, just garbage. But that's uh, that's my garbage person. Ben had a great garbage person. But more importantly, as of right now, 55,000 of you voted in our poll for the community garbage person of the week, which we hold on the community tab of our YouTube channel each week. And here are your top five coming in at number five this week with 3% of the vote. You have Ben Shapiro for his obsession over masculinity and the military. Coming in number four with 11% of the vote, you have Ken Paxton for fleeing from a subpoena. That was a funny one. Coming in number three with 26% of the vote is Tucker Carlson for his continued love of fascists following the Italian election. Uh, coming in at number two, Kirsten Cinema, 27% of the vote for gushing over Mitch McConnell. She couldn't quite make it happen, but don't worry, I'm sure she'll be garbage again someday. No, your winner and community garbage person of the week this week had 32% of the vote. That is Roger Stone for calling for violence on January 6th. Uh, thank you to everyone who voted. I could not agree more. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.